announced he'd be issuing that safer at home order. We got a lot of phone calls and emails from several of you with the same question. Can he do that? Fox 6 investigator Amanda St. Hilaire takes us through the law and the history behind the governor's emergency powers. Today I'm announcing we'll be issuing a safer at home order tomorrow. Does the governor really have the power to make you stay home? The short answer is yes, but to understand why, we need to go back a few hundred years. The framers thought colonial governors abused their power, so early state constitutions made their governors weak. It really wasn't until after World War II that state executive branches started to centralize. We found this history in a Harvard Law Review article by University of Wisconsin Law School professor Miriam Seifter. Governors who at the founding were sort of um, just uh, powerless actors who were sort of figureheads um, have become um, uh, uh, real point people for operationalizing state emergency responses. Wisconsin law gives the governor the power to declare a public health emergency. During that time, he can bypass certain regulations, seize property, and issue orders necessary for the security of persons and property. That sounds pretty broad. Theoretically, couldn't anything fall under that wording? No. You're certainly right that it's a very broad delegation of emergency powers to the governor, but it doesn't mean that truly anything is possible. So the governor can limit gatherings and tell you to stay home, but can't violate the Constitution by shutting down media coverage, for example. His emergency powers are also limited to 60 days, unless the legislature grants an extension. State actors and governors in particular can often just act more swiftly and more nimbly than the federal government can. The federal government has a crucial role to play, but it's the states that really do the actions that um, protect public health and safety in ways that affect people's day-to-day -day lives. So what about the framers' early corruption concerns? Turns out the solution is you. A vigilant public is um, an important check against just making sure that these powers, which are actually extremely important in controlling epidemics, are exercised in a responsible and, and non-discriminatory way. Amanda St. Hilaire, Fox 6 News. So, do they have any bite, you're wondering? Well, the law allows the governor to use fines, even imprisonment, to enforce emergency orders, and today the governor said that enforcement would come from local police and sheriff's departments. Spring commencement at UW.